Okay. What's a VSD? VSD stands for ventricular septal defect. It is the commonest congenital heart disease, and it uh, is a hole between the two pumping chambers of the heart. The heart has two, basically, two sides to it. One side that pumps blood to the lungs, and one side that pumps blood to the body. And there's a wall between those two sides that's called the ventricular septum, and a hole in that wall is a ventricular septal defect. A very loud murmur that shows me VSD, does it always mean it's a very large hole? Uh, in fact, uh, quite the opposite. The largest holes frequently have the softest murmurs, so that uh, the loudness of the murmur uh, does not necessarily correlate to the size of the hole, and in fact, uh, a loud murmur can be a very small hole. And all murmurs aren't VSDs? Uh, definitely, all murmurs are not VSDs. There is a condition what's called a single ventricle. What's the difference between a single, single ventricle and a large VSD? Well, many patients are born with hearts that don't have the typical architecture with regard to the chambers. Uh, while uh, most patients will have hearts that have one side or one ventricle that's dedicated to pumping blood to the lungs and another one that's separate that pumps blood to the body. Some patients, in, in some patients, the ventricles don't form properly and only one ventricle might actually exist, whereas the other one is either empty or closed or obstructed. And in those patients, that one ventricle is responsible for pumping the blood both to the lungs and the body. Small VSDs, so sometimes they close on their own? Uh, most definitely, uh, a very large percentage, probably up to about half of ventricular septal defects, will close on their own. Which VSDs will eventually get into a service like you, where you are a cardiovascular surgeon? Well, there are uh, VSDs can be classified in a number of different ways, but um, there are a few varieties of VSDs that are the most common forms. One form would be what we call a muscular VSD, and those are VSDs that commonly give a loud murmur, so they're picked up very commonly in a pediatrician's office uh, and then confirmed by a cardiologist, and those are holes that exist within folds of the muscle of that ventricular septum, that wall between the two ventricles, and those types of VSDs almost always close on their own. Uh, other VSDs exist in different parts of the ventricular septum, most commonly what we call the membranous septum, which is at the sort of at the top of that wall in an area where there really isn't muscle, it's more fibrous tissue. In that location, the VSDs commonly will not close, and if they're large enough to cause significant symptoms in the patient, then um, within three months or six months of age, it's common that the patient will require a surgical closure of that hole.